How's it going, everybody? It is good to be back. Okay, so this is going to be a fun one. Uh, I made a video a little ways back about my EDC, my everyday carry. And it actually did really well uh, in the grand scheme of how well videos do here on my channel. That video did really well. It's got over a thousand views now, which is great considering my videos usually average uh, between about 80 and maybe 150 views. That video just for some reason did really great. So I figured I'd make an update to that video. Um, I'll link that video right here if you would like to go watch it. Uh, but this is a more current updated version of my EDC, what am I carrying these days? What am I taking with me these days? I need my glasses. I just noticed I don't have them. One sec. All right. Much better. Mmm, that feels they're kind of dirty. Well, they're really. Is that better? That's better. Oh, yeah. Much better. All right, EDC, let's go. Now, before I get too far into it, it is very important that you know this. Some of these things have been given to me by brands that I have worked with in the past. Most of these things I paid for with my own money, my own hard-earned dough, my cash. Uh, but some of these things have been given to me uh, by various companies. I'm sure you'll probably recognize some of them, but still really important to know. I'll let you know which ones were given to me and which ones I paid for. But regardless, all of these things, in my opinion, are worth the money. And I'll link all of them down below so you can go look in the description and find them on Amazon or on the websites or, or whatever. But anyways, item number one... My cell phone, this is uh, an iPhone 8 Plus, nothing crazy about it, it's 256 gigs. This is actually a new iPhone 8 Plus because I just recently broke my old one. Uh, and then obviously I'm still rocking the Pataka mag case. Um, I've made a couple videos about this case. This case was given to me by Pataka for review and some photographs and an unboxing and that sort of stuff. I'll link that video right here. There's actually two of them as well. I'll link the more recent one right there um, and you can go watch it. Uh, this case is awesome. It's super slim, very minimal, weighs little to nothing and it has the metal plates in it so you can stick it to the magnetic thing in your car. You can wirelessly charge through this case. I absolutely love it. It's black so it matches everything else that I've got. Um, but honestly, truly, I just love how slim it is. It's made out of Kevlar, fun fact. So it's really durable. It keeps my phone very well protected, which I'm grateful for, but it's obviously not protective enough for me to not break a phone with it. The, the case didn't fail. I just, I'm clumsy and I, the case is great. Go buy one of these cases. Just, just trust me, okay? Item number two, my wallet. Now this is obviously the Johnny wallet by Loyal Strickland. Again, this was a product that was given to me in return for uh, some photographs. If you've seen any of my videos, you know that I, I have a lot of their stuff. It's because I bought one Johnny wallet and I loved it and then they kind of got in touch with me and then we started kind of working together a little bit and I've been taking some product photos for them and they just make really, really, really awesome stuff. But I particularly love this wallet. This is the Shell Cordovan Johnny wallet. It opens about like that. You keep your cards right there. You keep your cash right there. It's got a little, can you see that? got a little emblem right there it says loyal Strickland I love this wallet I love all of the wallets they've sent me they've only sent me two: this one and an Edison wallet but regardless they make really crazy good stuff do yourself a favor go look at them next up I forgot to mention this one in my last one but my Apple watch um, I have been using this Apple watch since my birthday of last year um, every day I wear this watch literally every day I have a, a tan around my wrist you can kind of see right there from how frequently I wear this watch but I wear it every day it's become part of my daily routine I use it to check the time check the weather check that sort of stuff it's just really nice to have at a glance I got a text message that text can wait or I'm getting a phone call I need to take this it's just nice to have all of those things at a very quick glance so uh, this is the series Series 2. This is the Nike edition, so it's waterproof, which is nice. And uh, you can, it, it comes with the Nike app built into it, so I use that app when I go running. Um, all sorts of stuff. So, yeah, I love the Apple Watch. Some people say it's expensive, it's overpriced, it's whatever, but it works for me. So, yeah, Apple Watch, there it is. Next up, a pocket knife. Now, I've made a video ooh, about this pocket knife. This is the Spyderco Para 3 pocket knife. Now, I'm not like, uh, I'm not an EDC junkie. I, I don't constantly buy pocket knives and look into new pocket knives, that sort of stuff. But I did see this one in a YouTube video and I was like, this one looks really cool. So as you probably remember, I was using a Kershaw knife. I think it was the 1830 ODSW. Still love that knife, still have that knife, still use that knife. 
uh, but this one has become my everyday carry. I took the clip off of it because I just don't particularly care for clips and it just makes it a little easier to handle to hold when I'm cutting things when I'm doing things with it I just man this this knife now granted this knife was $150 um, do I think it's worth $150 uh, I guess it just depends if you've got money to just throw away then yeah sure um, I personally don't have money to throw away but I did throw away money on this pocket knife this was not given to me I paid for this with my own money and uh, hindsight, I probably wouldn't do it again, uh, just because I don't know if it's completely worth that. Uh, but I do very, very, very much so love this pocket knife. I'm getting a phone call. Hello? It's my dad. Hey, bud. Hey, big guy. Can I, I'm making a YouTube video right now. Can I call you back? Yeah, I just was checking to make sure you're all right. I yeah. Fix me, get on the lawnmower. Okay, um, just call I'll me. I'll talk to you later. Okay, I love you. Bye. That is my dad. Anyways, love this pocket knife. Spyderco Pair 3 Matte Black. I took the clip off. Super, super, super great pocket knife. I've had a couple of people look at it and say, wow, that's a rather expensive pocket knife. And I'm like, yeah. Just kidding. This, it was way too much money. I don't know that I'll ever pay that much money for a pocket knife again. It'll have to be something that really blows my mind in order for me to justify spending that much money. But I did. It's great. I love this knife. Carry it every day. It's still very sharp too. So uh, yeah, that's saying something, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Next up, my keys. Nothing really special. Still using the same carabiner. Still driving the same car. Still using the same keys. Somebody asked me in the last video what this was, which was kind of cool. Uh, fun question. This is actually a drum key. You use this to tighten and loosen the lugs on a drum kit. Uh, I am a drummer. I'm not a very good one, uh, but I started carrying one of these when I was probably 16 and I just never stopped just because you never know when you need one. And sometimes actually at my work, our drummer will be like, ah, I need a drum key. This snare head is loose or this is, you know, whatever. And I'm like, I got you fam. It does still come in handy, even though I don't play drums nearly as frequently as I used to. Um, but yeah, that's what that is. It's a drum key. And then I've got my house key and I've got another house key. And then I've got a penny on here that's a cross and a couple of work keys and then my car key. And yeah, so those are my keys. Next up, my sunglasses. I'm still using the same sunglasses. These are the same ones from the last episode. Um, these are the new Wayfarers, the Ray-Ban new Wayfarers. They're black. Uh, they have the green lenses. I love these. Again, a little on the expensive side, but I mean, I guess you just, you, you get what you pay for. That's kind of what it comes down to. So I, I paid a fair amount of money for these sunglasses, but they've lasted me a long time. They still look really great. I still love wearing them. Uh, they're very durable and uh, yeah, they look cool. So there it is. That's, that's why I paid as much money as I paid for these sunglasses. Okie dokie. Next up my in-ears. Now, I had a lot of people ask me last time, what was I saying? I, they were like, in-ears, in-ears, what's an in ear In-ear, 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 in-ear monitor. That's what these are. So, uh, in the last one, I was using the Shure SE215s. Still have those, still love those, but I've upgraded mildly to the uh, West Tone UM Pro 10s. Uh, these are along the same lines, along the same price. I think these are about 150 bucks. Um, but these are just really, really, really great uh, sound isolating headphones that you can use for um, all sorts of stuff. You can use them when you exercise, you can use them when you're editing. Their designated purpose is for musicians to use on stage. That's why they isolate sound as well as they do. Um, but I don't really play music on stage at our church as much as I at one time used to. So I use my in-ears for editing. I use them for editing and I just keep using them for editing. That's pretty much what I use these for. I don't really use them when I work out because I have a pair of wireless Beats headphones that I use when I run and work out. I took a trip to Minnesota just a few weeks ago and I used my Beats like half the time um, and I use these the other half the time. Honestly, I use these probably a little more than I use my Beats just because these are really, really, really great noise canceling headphones. Fun fact for you, I absolutely, oh my gosh, guys, I'm not gonna go on a tangent, but here it is, I hate when people chew food loud or people are constantly like coughing or sniffling or oh my gosh, it drives me insane. So when I go to a movie theater and I'm crammed in a room with a couple hundred people who are watching the same movie and they're all chewing loud and they're all making noises and they're all doing whatever, I take 
these bad boys and I just stick them in my ears because it isolates enough sound to where I can still hear the movie, but I can't hear anyone around me chewing or coughing or anything like that. It's really, really, really great. Kind of a little hack that I figured out a couple years ago and I've been doing it ever since. Also inside this little uh, pouch, by the way, I do realize this is still the Shure pouch. I just don't like the pouch that the, that the West Tones came in, so I just put these in here. Um, but also in the pouch, I have uh, a pair of earplugs just because, again, I hate hearing people chew stuff. I have a little adapter because iPhone is just their iPhone, I suppose. And then I have a silver dollar, and this is just for magic tricks, impromptu kind of, you know, coin vanishes and that kind of stuff. I'm a nerd, I get it. It, it is what it is. Next up, my camera bag. Now, I said this in the last one, and I actually started the video off with this bag. And I told people, hey look, I understand this is probably kind of cheating, but this is my video, so I'm gonna do it the way that I want to. And lo and behold, I got loads of comments and messages from people saying, that's cheating, your camera bag can't be part of your EDC. Well it is, because I take this bag everywhere I go, I'm still using the Low Pro Pro Tactic 450 AW version one. I really wanna try the version two, but my next camera bag that I get, I would love for it to be um, like a sponsored thing where I get to work with a camera company and they send me some gear to try out and talk about on my channels because I like doing that kind of stuff. I love working with brands. It's just fun, it's exciting, and it's like, it's affirmation for me that a brand as big as like say Low Pro or Rode or you know, whoever, it's affirmation that a brand that big would take interest in myself and in this channel and this community and my Instagram and all that sort of stuff. So I would love for my next camera bag to be um, a, a sponsored video, a little thing, what a collaboration, whatever you want to call it, with whoever I work with. I would love for it to be with Lopro. Lopro, if you guys are watching, uh, I'd love to work with you. Please uh, email me at jaredwinkler at gmail.com. Um, yeah, you can just find me there or just hit me up on Instagram or on Twitter. I love your bags. All right, so the last portion of my EDC. This is, this, you'll, you're, you'll appreciate this. This is a new thing that I just recently started doing literally like a week ago. Hang on. Do you guys remember this? This is the DOP kit by Loyal Strickland. Now, Loyal Strickland sent me the DOP kit, they sent me the flat pack, and they sent me the shell cord open Johnny wallet in a little care package to kind of take some photos about and talk about, and I made a whole video about and you can actually watch it right here I'll link it right there um, this was one of the things that was in the bag and honestly I didn't really know what I was going to do this I said at one point in the video that this would probably live in my camera bag but to be honest this is kind of big this is a little bit too big look how big that is compared to my can can you see that can you see how big this is compared like that would take up so much room and I'd have to take my camera out so it wouldn't be a camera bag anymore it would be a dot kit bag it's just this is just is too big to go in my camera bag. So I was kind of struggling with a purpose. I was struggling trying to figure out, okay, what am I gonna do to make this bag fit in my life? Because in my mind, if it doesn't fit in my camera bag, it doesn't fit in my life. I hate carrying things in my pocket. Um, so I was just trying to figure out what I was gonna do with this. And then something magical happened. Um, I got went to work one day and I wanted to take a pair of shorts with me because I knew I was gonna be doing a little bit of a strenuous activity later on in the day. So I was like, okay, I need to make sure that I have a pair of shorts with me. So I grabbed this bag because I had it in my laundry room and I said, I'm going to throw a pair of shorts in here if they will fit. And then it just all kind of snowballed from there. This has turned into an emergency EDC pouch kit, whatever you want to call it. And it lives in my car at all times with emergency supplies, an extra pair of sunglasses, an extra phone charger. This is actually a, like a 10 foot or a 15 or a hundred foot. I don't know. This is like a this is a long phone charger with a little cube because I mean How often do you need to charge your phone? You're like anybody got a charger and nobody's hands. a Pair of shorts a fresh pair of shorts just in case because I'm always wearing pants I never wear shorts, but sometimes I'm like yeah, it's a little hot outside I wish I had a pair of shorts now I do a fresh black t-shirt covered in cat hair But I promise it's clean my little GoPro session. Why? Honestly, I don't have the first clue. I don't really use this nearly as much as I should, but it's in there just in case. An extra pocket knife. This is by Sheffield. It is a... It's a Sheffield pocket knife. I have no idea what kind it is. It's kind of cool. It was a gift, so I... Yeah, anyways. And last but not least, a flashlight just because... 
you never know when you when you need a flashlight. This is kind of a cool one because it's got a low, a high, and then it's got a blinky blinky mode, which is that. I mean, that's that's fun, yeah. And that's everything that lives in this kit. And this kit lives in my car at all times in case I ever need a pair of shorts or I need. A, oh, generally there's a, there's a deck of cards in here as well. I almost always keep a deck of cards in here, but I actually had to use the emergency deck of cards the other day uh, because I wanted to play some cards with some friends and I forgot to get the deck of cards back. They still have it, Brittany and Wonka. If you guys watch this video. I'd like to get my deck of cards back, please, um, so I can go back in my emergency pouch. Alrighty, that pretty much wraps up my uh, my EDC, my everyday carry, the updated version. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, it just kind of helps my video make it a little bit higher up on the list um, when people search, you know, simple EDC or, you know, anything like that. So don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to uh, subscribe to this channel as well because I have to get to a certain number of subscribers and views before this channel can be monetized. And uh, I'd love for this channel to be monetized so this can become another source of income for me. Um, and also don't forget to share the video when you share the video It just helps me get a little bit more exposure It helps subscribers come in and views come in and that sort of stuff So um, if you would do all those things, please help me out uh, I would greatly appreciate it if you don't that's fine. Hopefully you still enjoyed the video um, And if you did uh, don't forget to go down to the description and look at some of the stuff that I have linked down there I'll try to link all of this stuff in the description down below So you guys have a great remainder of your day, and I will plan to see you in the next one See you then. Bye.